<laughs> buddy. <laughs> what do you think? Dude. What do I think of what, bro? My fucking headphones, dude. Fucking they look, love they, they those things, great, right? bro. I got some new headphones, and I'm pretty fucking proud of them. If um, you guys didn't know, the, our, his old pair for like the last 30 episodes was broken, and he had to use use it strung across the table there. Yeah, that's why like, you I guys probably never even noticed it, huh? They might have, because like, dude, I had to like really like tuck my head. It's it's one of those things like I, I it's kind of like I you know like when you get diarrhea on the trampoline and gym Jesus dude and then you're just like I really wish I hadn't just told you that it's Wayne's you, world you had diarrhea what is with Wayne Wayne's the world references today yeah, dude you're here, bro. dude check it out perfect smoke what drinks. the fuck dude I'm telling you man this is the Hollywood conspiracies. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very excited tonight, guys. We're amped. We special ordered a bottle of Blacken, the oh, it's the 112 batch, limited edition. It's Metallica's whiskey. Metallica, guys. Fucking blackened. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure. Dude, look at how beautiful this bottle is, bro. It's a badass bottle. We had to order this from Florida because we can't get it anywhere near here. Um, it is it cask strength. Blackened, so. a bold collaboration of the finest hand-selected whiskeys, an uh, an unrivaled composition of craft and creativity, born in cask, forged by sound. Ooh. Dude, so it's 113 proof. This is 56.5 percent alcohol. A blend of straight whiskey finished in black brandy casks. So, Dude. what is a cask? <laughs> A cat? You don't even need to know what a cask is. But I kind of do. Fuck, get you fucked up. <laughs> That's all you need to know. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna Google that one real quick. As you guys know, here on the twelfth parsec, we learn shit. So today, children, we're gonna learn about cask. What is a whiskey? I'm not cake? gonna whiskey. I'm not gonna whiskey. I'm not gonna screen record this, dude. Because I don't. What if it's like, like cool? I don't feel like we need. <laughs> Record. <laughs> People probably get so sick of the fucking screen records, dude. Probably not. Um, how is whiskey cask made? Uh, cask strength, also known as barrel proof and barrel strength, is a term used by whiskey, also spelled whiskey. Whiskey. <laughs> this uh, the scout spell it. Whis- uh, what 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 what's what's what is that? So the Irish that. spell it whiskey. Spell it whiskey with the key, like a key. Spell it whiskey. Spell it whiskey with the key, like a key. Storage in a cask for maturation. Maturation. Okay. Typically, the, the level range. alcohol by volume, ABV strength for a cask strength whiskey is typically in the range of 52 to 66 percent. Oh, so that has to be above a certain percentage to be called a to cask. be a cask. We have cask. Says here most tonight, bottled guys. whiskey is diluted with water to reduce the strength. Oh, so that is, there's nothing. There's no this dilution. Straight. It's straight. Fuck, bro. So this is like real Let's shit. Let's dig in. This is real shit. Let's dig in. Did you? Hey, we're gonna get some of those tongs. I'm tired of us putting our fucking big meat mitts big, in there. Big old fucking nasty meat paws in fucking there. Right paws. after I just got done fucking stroking my meat. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna fucking drink this tonight. Oh fuck! All, All right, right, bro. Go ahead. Are you sure? You do the honors, man. Are you sure you want to? Yeah. Do- We've been waiting two weeks for this. It took two weeks. Ready? You guys want some ASMR? <laughs> oh, dude. That was perfect. How's it smell? Oh, dude, that smells freaking delicious. I just I drop it. it. <laughs> I know you just, like, <laughs> just shatter the bottle right now. Dude, what would you do, bro? Huh? I'd probably cry. All right, you guys know how we do it. We we take it we take her straight every time we get a new whiskey. That's a pretty that's a pretty whiskey. Look at the color. Mm-hmm. God, dude, that bottle is so beautiful. Oh, dude, the band's gonna want to try this out. Oh man, it smells. It smells strong. Damn, Goose. We're tasting it. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to taste it. I'm going to keep on drinking it in the spirit. All right. If I'm going you know to put the lid on just in case this puppy falls over for whatever reason. Remember it smells our horn like, it smells like Jack Daniels. It's, like, it's Metallica, dude. They probably just made Jack Daniels. <laughs> they fucking bottled Jack Daniels in their own fucking barrels. All right. Cheers, 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 cheers. boys and girls. Mm. Oh, my God. That tastes nothing like Jack Daniels. Mm-mm. Wow, bro. You know that's the sound frequency on the back right there of blackened? Is it really? I don't know. Sounds good, though. That huh? burns. That burns good. That burns. That burns for sure. That made my eyes water. This is good, bro. That's a strong fucking whiskey. 
Those Metallica boys don't fuck around. Woo! Ooh, 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 the second one. Yeah. First one went down smooth. The second one got me. Dude, this is a... This is a strong... It's good. This it's is good. in the League of Atone, I think, It's bro. fucking strong, but it's good. <laughs> Dude, that's good, bro. That is really freaking good. That has to be flammable. Wow. This has to be flammable. <laughs> let me let me see here. So we're at uh, fifty six point five percent alcohol volume, one hundred and thirteen point zero seven proof. It burns. Wow! It actually burns my lips a little bit. Spicy, dude. <laughs> this is fucking spicy shit, dude. Wow! I like it, but I hate it. Cask strength limited edition. I had one drink. Dude, and I think I'm some, drunk. That's some. Serious sh- oh, there's an M on the bottom. Oh, shit. There's an M on the bottom. For what? I wonder if that's from a Metallica, Metallica bro. My- I. So we don't actually. It says Metallica. All their shit has Metallica. Metallica signs bottles. Metallica doesn't have their name anywhere on this bottle. Yeah. I don't know what they think, have to do with this. I think maybe the, like the guy that makes it was like one of a his big Metallica bands. fan. Yeah. And maybe he dedicated the whole line to them. Or maybe they just wanted to like split the company as the band or something. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. I was wondering that because I was like looking at their stuff and like it's not actually nothing actually says Metallica. But like if you go to their Instagram page and stuff like that, black and American whiskey, um, America, baby, uh, they have like Metallica all over it, holding the bottles, taking pictures with yeah. the bottles. So I don't know. I've even seen them actually like drinking this on like their pages. Mm-hmm. So it's got to be their whiskey. Maybe. Maybe they're just not branding it that way. That's it's kind of cool, though. It's kind of cool. It's then fucking Metallica, That's what dude. I was just going to say. There's a fuck. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> they, they don't need their fucking name on it. All they need is their, their fucking song title on it. You guys know fucking Blacken? It's a good song, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't heard it. <laughs> dude, Metallica is... Oh, I got a feeling this is gonna this is gonna be a good music they, episode. They always hold a special place in my everybody's heart, dude. Heart, dude. In music's heart, you, that, yeah. Because nobody, even people that are like, "Oh, I hate Metallica," they you fucking you, their song comes on. I bet you bob your head, you fucking sick fuck. You could hate Metallica all day long. Like, there's the yes, it is fucking way overplayed on everything. Mm, like a Metallica mm-hmm. song comes on, I'm like, "Fuck, I'm gonna jam it." I'm like, yeah, "Fuck, another Metallica, fuck Metallica song." Metallica. Then all day long, I'm singing, you know. You know, yep. Um, but what Metallica did for music, mm-hmm. no band's ever gonna do again. No, I don't care what anybody says out there. You could fucking say Queen, you can say the Beatles, whatever you want. What Metallica did for metal and rock and roll, yeah. I don't think any band will ever be able to top. Even like, even like bands continuing on, like bands now, like in our genre, you know what I mean, or in in our like in our our life, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They've they've done so much for it. Like, you ask any band, dude, in fucking Metal, they 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 mention Metallica. You know what I mean? Being well, a big a big part of why they make music and what you know why they do what they do. Yeah, that's you know the first band me and Goose ever started was a it was a Metallica cover band. Like, that was all we could play. <laughs> yeah, like legit. Like we grew up listening to Metallica from our mom and dad and. They're 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 still a big pretty pretty big part and of our life. Bands so. just don't get. I don't know. I like I, I think they were the last band to get that big. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. To this day, I mean, to this day, maybe Maiden, but Maiden doesn't isn't that big in the states. Yeah, Maiden's huge in other places. Maiden is big. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> if you want to get like, you know, like so say like uh Poison stuff like all those bands from the eighties. Rat, like none of those guys are mm-hmm. like Metallica can go on tour tomorrow and sell out multiple nights in every city in stadiums. Yeah, they sell out football fields. Yeah, yeah. No Easily. other band can do that. Uh, yeah. Only, only Maiden, like you said. I don't think they would even like maybe, but they tour like they haven't. They didn't tour for a long time, mm-hmm. and they were doing like a couple. They only did a few shows in the United States, I think. Right? Yeah. They don't very. They don't come here very often. Mm-mm. But uh, maybe Slipknot, maybe Slipknot can. I don't think so, dude. No, who has the big? Look this up. I'm curious. I know you hate Slipknot, but they do. They do. They they pull some big. Who shit has in. the biggest? Like the biggest? Like uh, like who holds the records for the largest like rock and roll concert for crowds? 
aside from Woodstock? I'm curious. Oh, not that. That's my that's my point <laughs> file. <laughs> That's my dick. That's taxes right. 2015 <laughs> file right there. Does anybody still have one of those files on their computer anymore? You know, yeah, does anybody do. actually does anybody actually download porn anymore? However, I do. And you don't download it anymore. No, I don't. Like there's no like LimeWire, dude. You used to fucking wait like two weeks for your fucking porn to download, and you'd watch it, and it was all pixelated, look like Pac Man screwing somebody. Crowd record for rock and roll. Uh, uh, America. Let's just see. Let's just see. Oh, Jesus. What? List of highest attended concerts. There you go. This is going to be everything. Oh, maybe ACDC, bro. They're up there, too. They're up there, That's bro. true. ACDC's last album was AC really That's good. That's a fucking banger, dude. I was really impressed. <clears throat> Who the fuck are these guys? You, too? Mm-hmm. Wow. Frank Frank Sinatra. What? Hundred and se- holy who's Vasco Rossi? Vasco Ro- Rossi. I have no Dude, idea. He had two hundred and twenty five thousand one hundred and seventy three people in two thousand seventeen. Kiss. There's Kiss. Okay. Okay, we got Kiss, Michael Jackson. Uh-huh. Queen. Uh-huh. Everybody's you. like, I can tell you Queen. Oasis? Wow. Oasis really. <laughs> Wow. Uh, the Grateful Dead. Pink George Floyd. Strait. I've seen George Shakira. Strait. ACDC. Here's free concerts. ACDC. Ace- Pantera, Pantera Metallica. Metallica. Oh, that, that's a pretty fucking... That's in 91, dude. Attendance? Jesus. Okay, is that is that million? Where's the attendance at? Over there. Am I stupid or is that 1.6 million? Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. That was ACDC Pantera. When was that? That's a fucking 91. In Moscow, dude. There was 1.6 million people. What the fuck ever? Oh, that was Monsters of Rock. This is Monsters of Rock. Can, can I see pictures of that shit? Dude, that's a fucking hell of a fucking... Monsters of Rock, 1991. Here, I'm going to record Moscow. this. Moscow. R, R, recording. 1.6 million. What the fuck, dude? Could Moscow. you imagine? Like, what are you Monsters. watching? Monsters... Uh, Just some rock. fat, greasy guy's hair. Holy shit. Jesus, dude. No fucking way. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? 1.5 million people attended the concert. Dude. Dude, you will never see that, that ever again. looks fake. You will never fucking see that ever again, dude. No wow, way, bro. bro. Can you imagine playing in front of something like that? Look at this. So click on that one. That's off, that's off the drum kit. Look at the fucking. Oh, my God. Dude. It's just a sea of people. Holy shit. I want to watch videos from that. <clears throat> dude, that's insane. I'm going to watch some videos from that. Yeah, dude, that's definitely. fucking crazy, bro. So they hold. That's. I think this was the lineup right here. Yeah. So it was. Pantera. Metallica, ACDC. that's the, that was the big ones. So all of them together brought that. Uh, type in Metallica's uh, record record audience. It's probably gonna pull that up. Well, that's a pretty big fucking Metallica largest crowd. There you go. It's gonna pull that one, of course. Jesus fuck, dude! I can't I can't get over that. No, that's not it. Isn't that it? No. Metallica played to a sold out crowd at ra- uh, r- r- Rally? Rally? Rallies? I don't know. I Rallies. can never say that. PNC Arena on Monday night, where more than 20,000 fans set a new record for the largest single day event attendance in the history of the venue. Okay. Huh. So it's not that big. But they're, Mo- I think they're Moscow, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It says it's Lars kind of hard to. Oh, oh, hold on. Goes down. Go down. Lars Ulrich. Ulrich. Is it Ulrich? Ulrich. Ulrich clarifies that the myth... Huh. So is he saying it's fake? Is this fucking fake? No, it can't be. I don't know. <sighs> Fuck, dude, dude. I don't know. Bands don't get that big anymore. No. That's all I was getting bottom, at. Bottom line, guys. Bands do not get that big anymore, and they will never get that big anymore. 
1.6 million That's people. That's fucking crazy, dude. If I, that shit's true, bro, I want to watch a video on that I later. Mean, how many people attended Woodstock? Wasn't that like 600,000 or I think something? 600,000, like yeah. I'm probably some, way some fucking like off that. on that. But probably. Have you ever watched the Woodstock documentary? Yes. That was some crazy shit. Dude. Yeah. They like, get all high off the air and yeah. shit like that. I, I, seen a, I seen this post one time. It was like, uh, your yeah, your grandparents, your, your grandparents are like, oh, you know, don't do drugs, blah blah blah. <laughs> all and fucked then there's up like a video Woodstock. of them at Woodstock all fucked up on fucking shit. That Imagine, a, dude, that was a different time, man. They don't make music like that though. They really don't. no, they don't. Music that can gather crowds like that, and everybody just has a good time. It's just it's non-existent now. That's what we were talking about, like the other day, like music. They, it's just. Not the same anymore, man. No. I don't know when it got deep. Um, dad has That's a theory. That's what we were talking We're about. talking with our dad. He thinks that Metallica was one of the ones that set the bar for the deep music. I don't think so. What do you think it was? I watched an interview with Dave Mustaine one time, and he said that, like, you know, people think that metal is the cause of society. He's like, society is the cause of metal. Okay. And I, I agree with that, because I think that at the point in time right there and there, like... Metal used to be about sticking it to the man. Mm-hmm. You know, it was about of a fight. It was fighting, you know, system, government, the control. Yeah. Um, what angered you? And then somehow it went from what angered you to just this, what makes you sad. Yeah. And I don't understand why. Mm-hmm. I like I have a, I have a, a really hard problem with like that's why I listen to a lot of older music. It was just so much happier. Yeah. You know, even like the 40s, 50s, stuff like that, like. They sing about being in love. They sing about having a good time at the at the you know at their balls and this and that. And then do like you it think, went into. Do you that? think that it was progression? So do you think this was progression like all the way down from, you know, the eighties being about partying, having a good time, all this stuff? Do you think it was progression to where we are today? Because everybody's really fucking sad and depressed and shit today. A majority of people are, and a majority of music is. I don't know, you know, because there was you had Ozzy back in the day, Black Sabbath. They had some deep, deep music. Yeah, but a lot of their deep music was their drug trips. Pink Floyd. You yeah, know, there was it was drug trips. Yeah, you know that was what they were experiencing. So I guess like those guys had some heaviness to them, but like even still, like it had it was a little bit just felt more uplifting when they were singing about it. Mm-hmm. Um, there was you know you had Iggy Iggy Pop mm-hmm. Iggy Pop wouldn't even like nobody would sign him because he was just too like punk rock he was mm-hmm. too garage and he wouldn't change who he was he got inducted to the rock and roll hall of fame yeah year. he wore crazy clothes last and, like, year girls clothes and yeah dude like he deserves it man like he iggy, finally made it iggy and the stooges man those guys were the shit was it raw power that whole album dude it's like you just it's fucking raw power man mm-hmm. it's like 30 minutes of insaneness mm-hmm. you know and that's like the way it is too like you listen to, like metallica kill them all it is such a it's it's a short it was heavy they were they were angry yeah they were really angry i don't know why Mm -hmm. but somehow that went from um it was angry in a good way though yeah it wasn't angry in a i want to go cut my wrists kind of way yeah, it makes you wonder, huh? Like where it came from. I don't know where that came from. It makes you wonder, like, because you had that, and how then they you, had that force behind them. You had that, which was just pure power, pure aggression, and it made you feel good when you listened to it, you know. And then you like, had, the, I feel like, you had the hair bands, which were all about partying and having a good time. Yeah. So like, I feel like they were both, uh, like they're both very powerful in their own direction. Yeah. You know, one made you happy, but you could put these happy big hair guys on a show you could you could put rat with metallica and like those guys would have been a great fucking concert well, you just seen acdc pantera and exactly. fucking metallica on the same AC, bill acdc was kind of the same way they were you know they were just aggressive mm-hmm. they had a crazy sound but you know a whole lot of rosy stuff like that like those yeah. are fucking badass songs and singing about you know <laughs> yeah so i don't know and then shook me all night long exactly like they're they just wanted to i want to fuck yeah you know yeah that song's so provocative. It's not even funny, dude. A lot of their music was. Yeah, it sounded angry. It sounded like just crazy. But as they were talking about fucking getting drunk and banging ugly chicks, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I wonder. Nineties. It was yeah. the nineties. Changed it all. Grunge when grunge came in. I don't know. 
Alice in Chains. Nirvana. Mm, Nirvana. And even if you listen to... Pearl Jam. I could throw on, uh, it, for people out there that, you know, if you're not really big fans of all this stuff, if you listen to Bleach, mm-hmm. which is Nirvana's first album, mm-hmm. a lot of people don't even know that it was a fucking album because I've played it so many times and people are always like, who the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's Nirvana. They're like, this is not Nirvana. I'm like, no, this is Nirvana before they got big. Yeah. You know? So, there had to have been something in the industry at that point in time that they were saying, this is what we're going to do. You think so? Because if you listen to Bleach, which was 89, I think, 80, 88, 89, something like that. If you listen to Bleach, it's just fuck. It's like, it's like raw power. It's like Iggy Pop, dude. Yeah, it was yeah. just fucking crazy off the fucking wall music. And then it sounded like some pissed off teenagers. Yeah. And then they came out with Teen Spirit. And it was a whole new sound. It was slower. It wasn't like, you know, there was no like screaming, yelling, anything in it really. But did these guys think that was progression? Did these guys think that was a new, like a new direction? You know what I mean? Like. Could have been. Could have been. We saw how fast when you get into a studio, though, of how fast they say. Uh, let's try this. Yeah. Oh, or yeah. why Absolutely. don't you try that? Mm-hmm. Or, hey, this band's really selling right now, so what if we brought some of this into it? Yeah. You know, and you lose your creative control. Mm-hmm. Even though in the contract it says we have creative control, you lose that at some point in time because these guys know what the fuck they're talking yeah. about. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's, it's a lot easier to say, well, if you take this song, you slow it down a little bit, you know, let's not sound so angsty. Yeah. And I can get you, I can guarantee you radio play. Are you going to, are you going to say, nah, I'm going to stick to my shit, man. Are you going to take the radio play? Yeah. You know, so I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened. Do you think the drugs just got harder? (laughs) It's easier to get. (laughs) The fucking heroin got harder? No. 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 I don't know. Maybe the world, maybe the world was ready for a new sound. Molly Crew was pretty Fucked up. Yeah, those time. guys. Those guys partied fucking. Nikki Six all the rest was of them. fucking terrible. Like you know, what's his name? Uh, Mick, was it Mick Mars? Mick Mars. Yeah. Like he has to have like a back brace and take breaks and shit, dude. Because yeah. he rotted can't, away in his bed. Can't stand for too long now. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I, there was just something different about the time. Maybe it was just the vibes that were going on. Mm-hmm. If you watch '80s movies, we talk about this all the time. Yeah, it's completely different. There's so much difference. Like you completely know, completely different. The stories are better. Like they're they're more exciting. Everybody had like a source of like, there's like a imagination. Yeah. You know, they came up with good, real like stories and new stories all the time. It was always new shit. But I think it's cool because I feel like that's how you kind of distinguish, distinguish the times, you know? Metallica. The reason Metallica changed is when their, when their bass player died, Cliff, Mm -hmm. he wrote a lot of the music. Yeah. So that's why there was like that big gap, that big period too, is because they were actually, it took them a while to finish the Black Album. Mm Mm-hmm. And that was without him. So it was music that I'm pretty sure he had written. Mm-hmm. This is what I've I've watched like uh, documentaries on this. Um, again, just this little fucking so they speck can't. of dust is speculating <laughs> these big speculations. <laughs> so they kind of had to they kind of had to finish writing his music. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, I went to the Gimme View, Gimme Five. Then it's like, what the fuck is this, Metallica? Yeah, it sounds like shit. Yeah. And now they still can't really do anything. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they made too much music. Hey, hell of a whiskey, though. <laughs> hey, good fucking whiskey, guys. Hell of a Cheers. fucking whiskey, guys. I'm not damn saying it. I don't like them. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I feel like music then. I don't know what caused the change. Um, I don't know what's caused a lot of change in the world today, anyways. Maybe. Maybe, think- maybe they all just got tired, bro. They hit their fucking peak. <laughs> yeah. And then they just they they sat in a groove and let it ride, bro. I just don't know why everything has to be so sad. Now, even today, dude, everything's so fucking sad. Dude, fucking like rap sad. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck are you why are you depressed? I woke up today, cried myself to sleep last night. Yeah. Didn't get much sleep. It's like, what the fuck is this? It's like Ice Cube used to go out, he'd dude. fucking drive his car around, he would shoot bitches. <laughs> 
fuck bitches. Talk about fucking the police straight you know? from the underground. And then he get. Uh, I guess today was a good day. You know fuck what I mean? Yeah, dude. Like man, <laughs> fucking fucking. That's fucking good I'm shit. I'm at the dude. bottom of the fucking barrel, living in the ghetto. But you know what? Today got, was a got good day. Fucking poxing and some fucking shit, dude. Like you're like, what the fuck, man? Like this was good fucking rap music, bro. Yeah, it was edgy. Like, I'm still thinking his mom. You were scared. I'm I'm still fucking scared to listen to it sometimes. Like I'm in the, I'm in the car. I'm like, I put on some some pox. I'm like cruising. I'm at a light and I, I like turn it down because I'm like I shouldn't be listening to this. I shouldn't. I'm too white to be listening to this. But it's great. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I feel good. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lightning bolt goes through my window and hits the tip of my penis. See, when I rap to music it. was 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 sketch back then though, bro. But it was For good them to make it. Oh, so good, dude. So good. Same shit. But that shit got you amped. Bro. Yeah. Fuck you know, yeah. My wife's a cop. Every time that shit comes in, like, I'm like, fuck the police. Come <laughs> straight from my bitch. You hate me because I'm brown. She's like, babe, you're white. Uh, oh, fuck. I'm like, dude. I don't give a fuck. Not now, I'm not. Not, not right not now. Not when fucking NWA comes on. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll fucking tell you that shit right now. Same thing, though. Look who tore that band apart. The fucking manager, dude. Yep. yep. See, it's every time they get fucking signed and get big, dude. Yep. God damn it. Listen to Miley Crew. Their first album was it like uh, was it Livewire? Yeah, Livewire. Fucking dude, incredible. Amazing fucking album. And then after that, you know, it got just like really <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. They came out with Dr. Feelgood. Yeah, every song sounded the same. Yep. Had good shit, but it still sounded the same. Yeah. Look at me. See you guys? I just backpedal on everything I said right there. I was all happy, now I'm talking shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck. And then you got Ozzy. He's still fucking dude. hitting it, dude. I don't know he's how still that guy it, bro. I don't think he's writing his music. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know, bro. But that shit's fire. He's dog. still fucking hitting it, bro. And when Post Malone put him on the map, yeah, I can't believe Post Malone did that for that guy. <laughs> fucking shit, dude. <clears throat> hey, you wanna, you wanna? All right, guys, real quick, you guys, you wanna, you wanna try it with a little Mountain Dew, bro? We always gotta do our. I will. I'm gonna finish this. This is good, dude. I, fin- I, I, like I finished it. mine because that shit was the bomb. You put the Mountain Dew first. You always got to, yeah. I think you're doing that backwards. So I like getting the whiskey on top, bro. <laughs> it's like a little surprise when I get down to the bottom. I don't, so I will say, uh, let's rate this bottle real quick now that we're over our. Rate this bottle. <laughs> wait, wait, we going, we going zero to 10? Yeah. I want to, I'm going to give this a solid fucking nine, bro. A nine? Yeah. Mm, I'm going to say an a eight. Eight? Hard eight. Why eight? Huh? Look at that. Look at that. It's good stuff. It it reminds me um if you're a fan of Jack Daniels and sometimes Jack just ain't doing the trick. You got to think about these boys though, dude. These guys were this drinking shit. Jack Daniels it's what it on tastes. stage, man, for their whole fucking like their entire life pretty much. This reminds me of a high-end Jack Daniels. Mm-hmm. That's what it tastes like to me. Yeah. Um so like even like I say above cuz we got Gentleman Jack. That's better than Gentleman Jack. Way better. It's got a fucking hard bite on it, so that um, the only thing that I would say um, is I would I would have to say I put it in the category with. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck, dude! <clears throat> Fuck. That's spicy, dude. This it's good shit. That's fucking spicy, man. If you guys want to try a good whiskey, um, you gotta order it. Oh, if, unless you live in Florida and shit like that, we had to order this bottle from Florida, um, which is by the way. It's really hard to order whiskeys. If you live in Florida, you're a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Well, that's Florida. It's built different. <laughs> built very built different. Very down different. There. This is good shit. Next time, uh, I have, we know people that go out there all the time, so I'm going to bring me back some more of this shit. I like it. Black in the world. Is um, right yeah, like I'd that. say I'd say a hard eight. Um, <clears throat> definitely not for the faint of heart. No, if you're a whiskey drinker, this is yeah. your shit. If you right like here. a good stout whiskey, that would be good. This that's would, the one. This would pair really, really, really well with like a like a um, uh, like a good steak. No, oh. like a good like what are the cigars like the the stout ones? Oh, the, like, this would pair good. This would pair, my opinion. This would pair good with like a Gurkha, bro. There you go, the, <clears throat> like a Gurkha or a uh, oh, what the fuck are those ones called? Um, a Gurkha and a god damn it, what the hell's the name of it? They're the ones that have like they, they the they're smoked. What is that? The mm-hmm. uh, I got one right here actually, right here. Kentucky Fire Cured. Oh cured. yeah, it would pair good with that. Like oh, a dude. good Kentucky Fire Cured mm, cigar. That's, that's getting me. That's getting um, me freaking hungry over here. 
These two right here, I and think, they, would be a great, and they, great, um, great, great pair. What the hell's the one with the label, bro? Has like a scorpion on it. It would pair really good with that. Scorpion? Yeah. I've never seen that one. It's the... Um, Mega I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, <clears throat> it's stout. I like it. Um, definitely, I'd, I'd say eight. Yeah, I think it was worth the wait. It was good. Absolutely, dude. Drink, it's a delicious fucking whiskey. Drink half the bottle on this podcast, but yeah. that's okay. <laughs> it's a delicious. It's a delicious whiskey, man. I don't. It's I'm, not bad. It's reasonably priced. Uh, so they have a. They have I'm a. They have a normal one. Uh, maybe I think we're gonna order the normal bottle as well, and we'll give that. We'll give that a try. We won't test it on the on the podcast, but we'll post about it on our Instagram. I'm sure. Um, oh, they have a normal one too. Yeah, just the blacken. Uh, mm-hmm. This is the one twelve. This is the limited edition. Oh, okay. So they have a normal bottle. I think it's like forty nine bucks, and then this one right here, I believe, is ninety. So it's not too expensive. It's a good whiskey for the price for Absolutely, sure. Absolutely, dude. <clears throat> All right, my dude. Um, Absolutely. <sighs> What's up, Goosey? It, it, well, yesterday was a uh, it was a uh, Memorial Day, so yes. Let's uh, let's do a toast real quick. Uh, wearing a good shirt too, bro. Yeah, I Honor did. Their sacrifice. Honor their sacrifice. This is for all those we. Uh, the reason we have this podcast is for all you guys. So this is this is for the ones that didn't make it back home. Exactly. Right here. <sighs> yeah, that pairs well. Holy shit, that's good, huh? Yeah, <clears throat> that's really good. Okay. Um. So what did you think? <clears throat> I'm gonna do this because we haven't talked about this shit in a while. What do you think about uh Uh-oh. all the Kamala Harris's thing? What? Just what? The long weekend. <laughs> I want to hear. I want to hear your thought on that. My thought on that? Yeah, because I've seen I've seen a lot of mixed stuff going on, and I kind of have mixed feelings on it. So you do? Go ahead. I want to hear what you got. Um, I don't really know how to feel about it. Like you know, kind of. Kind of pissed off because because after the fact she deleted it completely. She did. Yeah, I could see that. And then made a post <clears throat> thanking, hmm. well, honoring people for their sacrifice. Yeah, and you know what I mean. She, you could tell it was a big like sob post. Like she was just she was just correcting her fuck up, her big fuck up. Yeah, enjoy the long weekend. So, see, I felt that it was. Definitely, it was. It wasn't right. It was definitely wrong. So here's what I feel about this whole entire thing that's going on right now: is I feel that these guys are so deep in all the bullshit and everything that's going on in the world right now that even if they wanted to make a post, they're scared mm. because of the followings, the followers that they have. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking just batshit bonkers that. Um, I think that yeah, they're afraid to make a post that is actually patriotic. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I think that's what's Maybe. happening. Yeah. This is kind of like what we just talked about with the music. They're in so deep right now. Yeah. That even if they wanted to, if you go according to the history and everything like that, like these, these, you know, this president and vice president right now, back in the day, they had a whole different outlook on everything. Mm-hmm. You know, they were, they were patriotic and stuff like that. But... To see that. Yeah. But the other thing that made me kind of upset about the entire situation of everything that happened with this is we got to watch the conservative side blow up just like the the, the left wing side, yeah, yeah, the yeah, liberal yeah. side. Yeah. Would have with Donald Trump. Yeah. So it all falls back on the entire thing of nobody can fucking just act like yeah. a mature adult. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it happened one way. If Donald Trump did something like that, oh fuck, you'd never hear the end of it, dude. You would never hear the fucking end of it. She did it, you know, but like the funny thing was is he wouldn't give a fuck. She deleted and started over. Yeah. <clears throat> but what I just can't understand is it, it, and I that's what I can't figure out if they do it, maybe even get a rise out of people. Yeah. I think that could have been like, you know, a little cheap shot to show you like look at I the think power. Oh so, yeah. Um but I just feel like these people are all so deep into this shit that you can't run this fucking country and not care about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's only one reason that they even get a vote mm-hmm. or, you know, that they get the votes, you know, and it is for those who fight for us. Mm-hmm. That's the way I feel about that. Yeah. I don't know. That was kind of something I just wanted to talk about. Yeah. 
I was kind of curious because me and you don't really talk about that shit too much. Yeah. Try not to. We try not to. <clears throat> but it was kind of funny because, like, there's still a whole bunch of shit. Like, my internet, like, my feeds is full of all of it still. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you guys understand that every time, you know, if you're conservative or, you know, whatever it is like that, like, every time that they post something, you get mad about it. Mm -hmm. You look just like they did for the last four years. Mm-hmm. So what the fuck's the point, man? Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here eating my fucking popcorn, man. I'm just mm -hmm. eating my fucking popcorn watching this shit. You know? Waiting for that fucking civil war to break out. Yeah. It's coming. And you know what side of it I'm going to be on? I'm going to head for the hills, baby. <laughs> I ain't doing shit. Red doing Dawn. Some fucking Red Dawn shit. Yes, sir. And I'm drinking I'm drinking the blood. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. God damn. I'm going to kill an elk. Just drink the blood. You going to kill them all? Yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> that's a Metallica reference there, people. For those of you who don't know that, God, this shit's good, dude. I know it's delicious. It's fucking good. <clears throat> hey, you been seeing those UFO fucking uh, shit going on? I haven't. Mm. I haven't. I've been. I've been avoiding the internet for some reason. I've been avoiding it a lot, dude. There's been some weird shit, bro. Well, tell me. There's been some weird fucking shit. I think. I think. If I remember correctly, <laughs> I think it was like, I think they're saying like six or seven uh, Navy warships over the, over the past, over the past like three years. Okay. <clears throat> Two to three years. But a, a, more recently, a, a, a decent amount are starting to see some fucking, uh, some, some, some weird shit out there when they're at sea. Um, there's been like multiple reports coming in, like one, one after the other, pretty yeah. close. You know what I mean? Seeing sim like similar shit. You know what I mean? Like this one, this one warship, I think it was the Navy uh, ocean. Of course. Yeah. I think it was the USS Omaha. They've, they seen, they were tracking a fucking something floating above the water and they had like their night vision on it and everything like that. And like, I think they had infrared and then they had, uh, what is the 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 black and white sonar sonar on it, and you could see this fucking thing go into the water like mm -hmm. boosh, like splash into the water. Well, sonar is in the water, and they lost right? it. No, I don't know. Whatever the black and white is, I can't I can't remember what the fucking black and white is. So they see this thing, they're watching this thing, a visual of it, and it goes into the water. Uh huh. You could literally like see the water go up, and they're like. We, you know, we lost, we lost, we lost visual of whatever that was. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to get a reading on it. They're trying to contact it, but nothing. Oh, so, so the radio went out. Yeah. Okay. So that happened. And then I think last week or the week before, there was a big commercial flight flying over. Um, they were on the, I think they were on like the Northwest side, it said, of um, New Mexico. Uh -huh. And they uh somebody was listening into radio chatter from the from the planes from the 7, 757s and they heard them talking to the airport they were talking to uh, whatever like whatever the flight like the flight control flight control is okay yeah yeah and they said the uh, air traffic control air traffic control and they the pilot said hey do we have did somebody just did somebody just buzz over us is there is there anybody in the in our airspace right now? And they said, no, you're the only one in the airspace. They said something silver just went over top of us. They said we we tried making contact with it, but there's there was no there was no response, and there was no no evidence or anything of of anybody being in their airspace, because that's all monitored and tracked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there was nothing. And then I guess like I think like I think me and Dad were talking about it. I think they said like. And it, like almost an entire row of like the left side of the plane, seen it, seen okay. this thing fly by him. So, what was this? are these like the bean shaped things again? Um, no, they they didn't say. I don't know if they really said the shape of it. They said it was just like a. They said it almost looked like a bullet. They said it was like a like a like a cylinder. Okay, and it fucking just buzzed by. So it's kind of like pilot seen bullet it, bean shape. The yeah. pilot seen it and everything. Hmm. So I wonder why the reports of these things. If you actually like read on all this stuff, the reports. The shapes of these things changes over the decades. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they were triangular for a while. Triangular, and then they saw the big, the big, like the flying V's, mm -hmm. almost like that. 
And then there was that was when they said that it was the, saucers. That, that was when they said it was the fucking uh, what you call it the stealth or stealth fight or stealth bomber. Do you think maybe that there was never actually saucers and it was always the bean shape, but just misconception maybe like the way they saw it back in the like day, like far away, like. <clears throat> Maybe they assume that it was a saucer because it looks circular, but once they got actually closer. Maybe. Or do you think that maybe these alien technologies evolving just like we do? Maybe. Maybe they they're maybe they're driving the new fucking space saucers <laughs> nine thousand, bro. And yeah. we just got the Cybertruck. You know there what you I mean? Go. Yeah. They just got their new model and they're fucking they were taking her for a spin. That's what I want to know is I wanna know what uh so that real quick, just to clarify, I don't know the time the time frames on these on these sightings I'm talking about, but all I know is I was reading on it and I was watching videos on them, and they've been seeing a lot of weird shit, especially in the ocean, and they've all been reported from either the Navy or Air Force mm-hmm. flying over the ocean. Because I read like a lot of conspiracy books and stuff like that, and it always just seems like they never, nobody ever really talks about this, unless like you guys can, if you guys has heard something of this, like maybe send it our way because I want to know. Mm-hmm. But it does seem that they, and now it's all over the water. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is the new thing. They're seeing the bean shapes over the water. Well, over like, like the like, last like five years. There was like one video I seen, there was like shit fucking sh- literally shooting straight up out of the water. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's stuff like that. Like, so like yeah. I I one hundred percent believe they're they're in the ocean. Dude. If anybody's yeah. ever for sure, yeah. If anybody's ever seen like a documentary or a, re- or a book or something like that, I can read on maybe because I feel like over the decades, every ten to fifteen years, the shapes change. Mm-hmm. So it goes from these big elaborate, you know, bunch of lights, you know, like where they would see them over those mountaintops, and they're like, you know, yeah, half and, uh, a mile wide. The Phoenix lights. Yeah, the Phoenix lights, and then like you know they go from that to like the flying saucers. Everybody saw the saucers. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the really famous couple? They were in the car. They're the ones that claimed they got abducted. Oh, the uh, oh, Bonnie Hill and uh, that was what in the sixties or the fifties, yeah, something like fuck, that. I can't remember Bonnie and forget her her husband's name yeah so anyways they were the ones like jam jack or something like that that was when the like the saucers thing started really Mm -hmm. and there was roswell of course they Mm -hmm. said there was a saucer that crashed but it went from the saucers so what i want to know or what's got me just bamboozled Mm -hmm. over the years so in uh was it Machu Picchu and stuff like that, right? Is that like they say that there's like in the, the caves are there I mean in their pyramids, yeah, there's uh petroglyphs, right? Is that they're called or they're they're the writing whatever they do down there. Mm-hmm. Or even like they've seen the petroglyphs and like the Indians and stuff like that. And they show saucers. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they show like this like a, a guy, you know, and it's like in like this circular thing with like a little bubble around him and like he's got pedals. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen that stuff, you know, like that. Uh, yeah, like you watch videos on YouTube, you'll find all that stuff. But they saw all these things too, so that happened all up to the seventies. But then from the seventies to now, we've seen so much different shapes, triangular, like big V shapes. Just to correct myself, real to quick, beans. it's Barney and Betty Hill. <laughs> just hey, so people, you were close, dude. Just so people didn't come after me. <laughs> Two Bs, Barney and Betty Hill. We don't want another. What was the name? Huh? What was the guy's name? We fucked up for like six. Oh, months. fucking Ryan, Ryan Humiston. No, dude, it's the other fucking guy. I can't remember. His <laughs> I think name. we were calling him Ryan Humiston. We were calling him Ryan Humiston. It's not him I'm, at all. I was thinking of the guy. He was just on Morats. Rogan. Yeah, he was just on Rogan. Yes. Anyways, again, uh, forgot his fucking. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So no, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is there's so many different like from start to like you know now to then. I just want to know. Like, why are these things changing all of a sudden? Because it seems like for a thousand years, something like that from, you know, back when they did cave drawings to the 60s to yeah. Barney and, was it Betty Hill? Barney and Betty, yeah. Uh, so, f- till then, like, everybody saw the saucers. Yeah. But now, everybody's seeing, like, bean shapes. And then, like, there was, the, like you said, the Phoenix Lights. Mm-hmm. There was stuff like that. And they were all different shapes. And there was the triangle. We saw the triangle years ago. Yeah. Right? We talked about that, I think, five or six episodes ago. Um, why does these things all of a sudden change over the last so many years? So, I, I don't know. I was trying to find somebody. Another Maybe I'm just being abduction, but too crazy about the whole thing. I don't know. I think... <clears throat> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like not to be con- not to make a conspiracy about a conspiracy, but conspiracy. I think I think recently 
especially if you start looking into it, there's a lot of weird fucking shit going on, mm -hmm. especially with the Pentagon saying that they, well, they are releasing classified document documents of this stuff. Finally, Do you Jeremy, think Jeremy Corbell has been all over that shit. Mm -hmm. But, um, there's been a lot more, there's been a lot more stuff going on lately when it comes to, when it comes to the alien. Do you think that stuff. everything that's going on, the big fight between the left and the right right now, do you think that all this shit, because it's just randomly sparked up. Nobody, five years ago, okay, 10 years ago, I'd say a solid 10 years ago, because five years ago is when it started. So over the last, I would say, five years, everybody had an interest in politics. Uh -huh. Post-2014, mm -hmm. nobody gave a flying fuck about yeah. politics. Yeah. Nobody was smart enough. We're still not smart enough to talk about it. I am not smart enough to talk about it. Yeah. You're not smart enough. Yeah, all these all these people out there that are acting like they're poli you know, they're fucking geniuses on this shit. Idiots. Mm -hmm. Why in the last four years, definitely the last four years, four to five years, I'd say, has it gotten so extreme with the left and the right wing? Nobody had this issue before. All the way through throughout history. Look throughout history. It was always the same, the same, the same, the same. All of a sudden, it just fucking spikes. Mm -hmm. And everybody wants to be in politics. Everybody has an opinion. But if you look in the last five years at the UFO stuff that's come out. Yeah. The little things that are getting swept under the rug. The little things that are getting... You know, buried in the files are buried yeah. in the in the. Are you saying everybody's newspaper. fighting over all this stupid bullshit, and then they're slipping in all this really important stuff? <laughs> they got a lot of stupid shit going on in the world, and there's yeah. a lot of big things that are happening that nobody's paying attention to because they're too focused on the fucking circus going on. They're keeping everybody occupied with the Ringling Brothers. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. You know what I mean? I agree with that. That's why I've been looking. That's yeah. why I've been looking into this stuff, bro. Like I've been reading on all this shit. With fucking Jeremy Jeremy Corbell is like, guys, this is happening. This is this is shit that we've been waiting for yeah. our, since the fucking since the fucking sixties. Yeah, since Roswell. And everybody, even in the comments, dude, they like dog him for it, and he's like, guys, this is like, he's worked his entire life for this evidence. These mm -hmm. fucking these Navy ships seeing this stuff, and everybody's just like, oh, whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fucking enjoy your long weekend. We were just talking about music for 30 minutes. Metallica had a song, Master of Puppets. Yeah. Master of Puppets pulling your strings. Yeah. It was about this kind of shit that happens. Yeah, man. Marilyn Manson said it. God is in the TV. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Manson fucking said this shit in the 90s, bro. God is in yeah. the TV. Yeah. Control. So, like Control is in the TV. So if they got everybody... I, that's what I don't understand. I have no fucking idea why. Dude, when the shit was going on in like the 60s, people didn't care about politics like they do now. Yeah. There was not this big of a fucking fight going on back then even. Yeah, like the like the the fucking um uh, the the commercial flight I told you about. I wasn't born then so I can't like actually vouch for that, but I've watched a lot of shit and I've read a lot of shit, so. The commercial flight I was telling you about that scene this 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 Cylinder. Yeah. Uh huh. They said it looked like a fucking like massive bullet whizzed by them. Dude, there's like no headlines on this fucking thing. Nothing. 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 And like, there's guys like Corbell and George Knapp that are like, this should be fucking, this should be front and center <coughs> right here. Like, and this just, is exciting shit. The whole thing I brought up about like the Kamala Harris thing and stuff like that. That's ex this is exactly why I brought it. This is why I brought it up because I really don't care. I, I don't. Um, people say stupid shit. They do stupid shit. Um, this is exactly why I brought it up is why do you think that happened? Why do you? They, they don't let shit like that slip. Yeah. Something that ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying is what do you think what do you think the bigger picture is out of this? And this is this is kind of a perfect topic after after that conversation because that's what I was getting at. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. I'm bamboozled. I'm bamboozled. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
There you guys go. <laughs> there you guys go. Welcome to the fucking 12th Parsec. So fucking, we got some blackened whiskey on the table. Uh, it's delicious. We love it. Shit, dude. Um, I don't know, man. UFOs are real, guys. Uh, the aliens, the cause shit is gonna come out. And nobody's going to fucking pay attention. <laughs> What's up, I big dog? I just realized that's a fucking ass <laughs> on their fucking logo, dude. Oh. Clear Rear. By the way, guys, uh, thank you and a shout out to Clear Rear because they hooked us up. Uh, so now when you go to Clear Rear, you drop the promo code Parsec10. God damn. And save 10% on your bidet. Super cool company. Um, I've been working closely with them. We got a lot of cool stuff. And they're an awesome company, dude. If you guys want to yeah. clear rear, if you want to clear rear, hook it up. Hook it up. Parsec 10, save 10%, all while supporting your favorite podcast show. God damn. <laughs> you tell he does Aliens. the intros. Aliens are real. It's going to happen. They're fucking real, bro. Like, dude, I, I think we're getting closer and closer every day. It's going to happen. So the biggest thing that I'm saying is in the next, I'd say in the next 10 years. You think they're sneaking it in? In the next 10 it's years. it's going to happen. Everybody's going to be like, oh shit, aliens. Things don't happen overnight, guys. We've learned this with Elon Musk. The quiet would place say, is coming, guys. I would say in the next 10 <laughs> years, something monumental is going to happen. And they're going to try and, it's not, they're not going to be able to bury it anymore. Something big is going to have to happen. I've said it before, bro. What? Elon Musk, he's going to finally unzip. <laughs> he's going to finally fucking... Old Man Withers is going to take the mask off, bro. For everybody out there, this whole left and right wing thing that's going on right now in the world, it's it's so stupid, so irrelevant. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's as stupid as money. The one thing that everybody revolves around is printed. Mm -hmm. It's literally fucking printed. And yeah. they could print as much as they want and give everybody as much as they want. Yeah. And they don't. I do. I have a printer in my room. <laughs> so, Make that shit every day. That's what I'm saying. They're going to use a bunch of shit. They're fucking pulling the strings. Master of the Puppets are pulling the strings right now on everybody in the world, and we don't know why. Yep. Why do you think that is? I think it's aliens. Yeah, aliens, bro. I think that our technology is finally getting advanced enough, and the internet happens too fast for them to control it completely. It's like that scene at the end of Men in Black. When it zooms all the way out and the aliens are playing dice. Or they're playing marbles. They're playing marbles mm -hmm. with like Earth and all the planets. Yep. There you go. It's the way it is. It was, uh, it was Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan's the same way. It's a, it's an anime series for those of you who don't know. Attack on Titan, check it out. Basically what it is, these fucking giants have us as like their little like ant farm and we're humans. Yeah. And what did I tell you? Remember I told you a couple of... Uh, Couple episodes back, that uh -huh. the that the Indians said giants actually walk. I believe it. Like legitimately, I haven't researched that. I forgot. What? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm yeah. like, I'll be back on here more educated than you've ever heard. <laughs> Fucking totally forgot about it. Completely forgot about too that. Much shit. They think we have too much whiskey. Too much whiskey. That's a problem. Drink too much. Uh, guys, we got some exciting stuff. Uh, we have uh, we have we have some guests lined out. It fell through this week, so the we reason guess, we're late, late. We, yeah, we had a guest planned for this week, but uh, with Memorial Day weekend and through. everything, it fell through. But uh, a guest that we are very excited for, and he's going to be coming on. He's going to be coming on soon, so uh, that's all I can really say. Savaske. Savaske. He that's likes whiskey really as say. much as we do, so I think yeah. it's going to be a good episode. It's going to be a good fucking episode. Well, whiskey and Star Wars. As whiskey much. and Star Wars. <laughs> like, as, I think it's going to be a banger. As like, much as we do. It's so, going to be um, like our first three-hour episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're really excited for that, guys. And then, uh, yeah. He's had all the... I, we're not going to throw the name out there. Dude. I know. I want to really badly, but no. I'm excited, can't. too, because this guy's literally had all the top MMA fighters. Yeah. Um, he's in, He has a podcast. He's interviewed all the top MMA fighters. Uh, he's uh, some of the biggest porn stars. Mm -hmm. This crazy shit, dude. Yeah. And Wonky shit. Wonky stuff. Wonky shit that we're into. <laughs> uh, he's actually sponsored by <laughs> Conor McGregor. His whiskey company. Yeah. So hopefully we can get some of the, is it the, what is it called? No, you just, you just gave him away. Nah, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Cause if you literally look it up, his name pops oh, up. Look it up. Everybody's going to be like, <laughs> what? You no, do not know Dio? No, it's uh it's Conor McGregor's uh, proper 12, which actually we, we should get a bottle of that dude. 
I'm going to see if we can bring a bottle. We should get a bottle there. Look yeah, at bring me. A bottle Look on. at me just being a fucking snob. Since we're whiskey drinkers, if you guys know Proper 12, is it good? Let us know. And then, uh, yeah. So anyways, Actually, we got a really cool guest lined out, guys. Yeah. Just uh, transitioning right now with the with the Memorial Day weekend and whatnot. So uh, hopefully here soon he'll be on. We actually just got followed our page. This is kind of cool, guys. You guys know how we are about Whistle Pig here. Whoa. And one of the one of the like one of the big guys for Whistle Pig followed our page. Followed the twelve parsec, and they've been liking all of our stuff. So maybe, maybe when we get some of that fifteen year in here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. For free. <laughs> I'm just Sounds kidding. good to <laughs> me. <laughs> Aliens are real, guys. Okay, Aliens are anyways, real. Uh, today in history? We're going to hit some today in history, guys, because it's getting late. This has been a weird... This has been a great episode. It's getting Everything late. Everything co- correlated. Oh, guys, check this shit out. We were just talking about music and all that stuff. Fashion. I am infatuated with the new fashions coming in because they are all 90s inspired, and I'm a oh, 90s God. kid. I'm fucking amped. Um, I bought some jorts. And I couldn't be prouder of my jorts. Holden? What's up, bro? You like my jorts? You hate my jorts. I love your jorts. Do you like my jorts? I had a pair of jorts. Guys. But you don't seem to remember. These are my jorts. I had a pair of jorts. Holden, you got to zoom this camera out when we edit this. Jorts. Got your jorts. Showing those fucking ham hocks? Fucking ham hocks, <laughs> baby. Fucking shit. Fucking got myself some jorts. Big greasies back in the gym. Yes, I am. What? I'm large and in charge, and I'm looking for ch- Jeez. All right, guys. What is this? So we gotta hit the gym together, bro. Dude, look, um, this has to do with whiskey. Check this we out. We have. This is nice. This is nice. What is this? Hit the first one, Goosey. Hit the today first one. in history. History. We should come up with like a song. Really quick. I know <laughs> now because everybody probably thinks I'm a fucking dumbass when I read shit. I watch the TV now because you can see it way better than I can on my screen. Maybe I'm going blind. You need glass? Deaf and blind all together, bro. Deaf and blind all together. It's because I've been playing music since I was fucking eight. I almost got into a uh, topic about my sunglasses, but I'm not going to right now. Uh Uh-oh. Save that for uh, for for, next episode. Save that for 43. Ladies and gentlemen, today in history. Today is June 1st. Um... You guys will probably hear this on like June seventeenth, so it's completely <laughs> irrelevant. But <laughs> Scotch whiskey, a batch of Scotch. Oh Ooh. shit! I already fucked that all up. A batch of whiskey is made for Scotland's King James the Fourth in the earliest. You know how I learned? Is that four? Yeah. Yeah. I V is four. V I is five. Right. No. V is five. V is five. V I is six. V-I-N-6. I was just getting ready to tell you the reason I know the numerals uh-huh. is because of Star Wars. Oh, fucker. unfortunately, I can fucker. like unfortunately yeah, I can okay. only count to nine, but yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. I <laughs> went his shoes off. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, so, anyways, nineteen or fourteen ninety five. Damn, that's old. Uh, Scotch whiskey. A batch of whiskey is made for Scotland's King James the Fourth. In the earliest known written mention of the spirit, brother John Cor, Cor. Yeah, a monk yeah. at a Scottish abbey. Oh. What's an abbey? An abbey is a uh, I know what it is, but go ahead, go ahead, go okay, ahead. Okay, uh, at a, a Scot uh, at a Scottish abbey, notes in his exquir. I can't even read this, dude. This is how they talked in 1495. That aquavitae v bowls of malt are made by order by the order of. The King Lindor's Abbey will later be considered the birthplace of the Scotch whiskey. Side history. An abbey is a type of monastery <laughs> used by members of a religious order under the governance of an abbot or abbess. What's an abbot or an abbess? Hold, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's like a priest or something. Oh, okay. Male or female. So based, a monk made it. A monk invented this. the the... Whiskey or the Scotch whiskey. Hey, if you guys know what an abbey or an abbess is, let us know. That's pretty Drop cool. Drop it down there. That's dope, dude. 1495, guys. And we, that's, and that's we're just shit we about, fucking yeah, we drink all the time. So. Oh, we don't drink Scotch, but yeah. Well, no. We had it. I almost threw up. Terrible. Terrible. So bad. Terrible. No wonder why it was invented in 1495. Oh, this is cool. Mm. <clears throat> Hit it. 
tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lip. <clears throat> All right, guys. 1968. 1868. God damn it, dude. Ready? See, fuck that one I up. I at the fucking computer <laughs> screen, dude. And I was just thinking, I'm like, what if I fuck it up, bro? And I'm just saying, oh, okay, they can look at the fucking screen. 1868. Navajos return home. The Long Walk of the Navajo, also called the Long Walk to Bosque Redondo, right? Am okay. I saying that right? Bosque? Yeah. Bosque? Redondo refers so. to the 1864 deportation and attempted ethnic cleansing of the Navajo people by the United States federal government. Jesus. I feel like we've read on something, something like this similar. I think we talked about it when I was talking about uh, the summer's moon or whatever. Cause there's, yeah. Cause there's a lot of, this is, this is, this is an interesting one. It's, yeah. They got, we basically dumbasses tried to get rid of all of the Indians and then it yeah. didn't work out. So we brought them back and gave them, Bullshit. The long walk of the Navajo, a two-year U.S. government uh, relocation of the Navajo people from Arizona to New Mexico in 53 different forced 300-mile uh, marches ended with a treaty Jesus. allowing Navajos to return to their original homelands. Wow, dude. After the catastrophic failure of the New Mexico reservation. Jesus, wow. dude. <clears throat> That's crazy. Did you know that back in the day? Jesus, dude. So about that same time. This isn't our land, bro. I know, but like you know, what's really crazy is the Indians use the Mexicans. Yes, yes, as like ranch hands. Yes, so like it's fucked up because this is this is the way everything works. Is we actually the Mexicans were slaves to the, the Indians. the Mexicans were the slaves, so we would like you know enslave. Don't hear the them bitching. We would enslave <laughs> the Indians. Dude, they just fucking adapt over, improvise and overcome, bro. <laughs> you put a wall up, they climb over it, and those fuckers still work hard. <laughs> Motherfuckers still working hard. Son of a bitch. That was a bad joke. We're half Mexican. It's okay. <laughs> it's fucking whiskey. God damn it. Uh, uh, no, but that's crazy, right? That is crazy. They used to, they used because nobody, nobody out there, guys, everybody who's listening to this fucking thing, nobody can train a fucking horse like a Mexican can. And I'm sorry. Yeah. I said it. That's not racist. It is what it is. So they that's are what really they good. use them. They use them to fucking break they their horses. They are really good at riding horses. They, they are. Yeah. They're, they're <laughs> small people, but yeah. <laughs> Small. Big ladders, small people. Small little fellas. Uh, 1967. Oh, we were just talking about monumental bands. Oh, wow. Here we go. Uh, the Beatles usher in the era of the rock album. The Beatles' eighth studio LP. Jesus, eighth studio? I have the actual original uh, Sgt. Pepper release on vinyl. No I don't shit. know what it's worth. It's probably not worth shit. Probably is, bro. And to me, it's sentimental. I actually yeah. have a Beatles Let It Be album, uh -huh. and it says Property of Capital Records on it. Really, pretty cool. Fucking I have find. some. I have some vinyls from, uh, from from uh, from Grandma and Grandpa that are that are sentimental. Probably, yeah. probably never get rid of them, but that's the way it is. Like even if it was worth money, like so for everybody out there, can't let go of it. Collect as being a collector, even if it's worth money, you can't let even, go. Of if it. it's worth like a mail, bro. Can't let go of it, dude. Just so like everybody knows, like that picture that's hanging in the back of that room right there is easily worth like I I paid like eighty bucks for it or hundred bucks. Yeah, Something I think you paid like hundred, bro. I think like I think Dave Prowse autograph right now is going for like six hundred to a thousand. Really, depending on the picture, the authenticity of the like that right yeah, there because his signature is retired. So that picture in the background is actually autographed by David Prowse, which is the actual actor of Darth Vader in the original trilogy. in the original in the original trilogy. So he was voiced by somebody else because David Prowse didn't have the grit to his voice. And that was, uh, what's his name? James. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. So James Earl Jones was the voice of Darth Vader, but it was actually, uh, he was Russian. He had a crazy accent and it just didn't work out for the film. <laughs> so that's the actor. That is an actual authentic autograph from him. And that is one of the still shots from, um, I believe that's from not a new... Yeah, New Hope. That's when he's in his TIE fighter and they're blowing up the Death Star. Yes, when he's chasing down Luke. Yes. Not only is his, not only did his signature re get retired, but Dave Prowse is no longer with us now. So yes, that is a very, very. Uh, that was kind of like a cool side piece. note there. Sorry guys. So this is a collect. That was talking <laughs> as a collector. Um, 1967, the Beatles usher in the era of the rock album. The Beatles' eighth studio LP sees Jesus. The band rel reinvent itself and in the process of the entire landscape of modern popular music sergeant papers lonely Paper. papers <laughs> sergeant peppers lonely hearts club band will be a smash hit and a revelation for critics uh 
And decades later, many will still call it a work of art that qualifies as the best rock album in history. Debatable. All right. Debatable. <laughs> yeah. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> We're going to move on here, guys, to 1980. Uh, yeah, because nobody cares about CNN. CNN launches. Puppets pulling the strings. Go ahead. Yeah, that's not that's not crazy. Go ahead, hit it. Uh, cable cable news network is a multinational news based paid. Okay, you guys, I'm reading the what, literally what they are. CNN uh, signs on from its headquarters in Atlanta with the lead story about an assassination attempt on civil rights leader Vernon Jordan. Founded by businessman Ted Turner, CNN will go on to shift the TV news cycle from 30 minutes nightly network broadcast to 24-7 the coverage. Ted Turner? You need some more? No, I'm good, bro. Okay. And, uh, yeah. That, I'll, I'll toss a little bit in for, for, for our outro. A little toast. Let me get, let me get you out and do. <clears throat> toss a little bit in here. Oh, let me get this uh, water out of here. I know everybody's checking out my jorts as I walk over to that fridge, but... They're like, damn, Goose's ass is popping in those jorts. Yeah, those fucking jorts look good. <sighs> I just, I feel like that. I feel like it's a good fashion coming back. I'll just do a little, little one, bro, a little one. I'm gonna go have a. Uh, I'd say after this, we go out back and smoke a little, uh, little cigar. What do you say? Uh, yeah. Pair it well, nice with this. Yeah. But uh, that's the end of uh, that's the end of today in hey, history, who guys. Is that really quick. T- uh, famous people born on this day. Is that Marilyn Monroe? Uh, sorry, guys. Yes, Marilyn Monroe and Andy Griffith. Wow, they were born on the same day. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Tom Heidi Holland. Klum. God damn, Nikki Glaser. Nikki Glaser was. Uh huh. Well, Amy Schumer. Who's Amy? A lot Schumer? of people. Huh. David Berkowitz. Nikki Glaser is a funny bitch. Yeah, she is. She's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Ah. She's just yeah. on Rogan again. Was she? Mm-hmm. The, I feel like she's funny in the real life. Like when she talks on Rogan when they're having actual. But like um, one of my things I struggle with with female comedians is I feel like they try too hard with the dick jokes. You think so? Dick and pussy jokes. It gets weird. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like male comedians can joke about other things. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the female comedians just uh, they focus too much on the dick. Yeah. You know. Being a guy, I like dick. I like a good dick joke. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I love a good dick joke. But just talking about the P and the V. Yeah. This gets weird. Yeah, they get they get in there sometimes. Yeah. And it's like, all right, you don't like that? I'll come over here and fuck this pussy. Mm-hmm. All right, bitch. Put it on the table then. Mm-hmm. Know what I mean? Anyways, all right, guys. Uh, I don't think we said anything too bad, but yeah. uh, you know what it is. If you have, uh, we offended anybody. Go fuck yourself. You guys know the rule here on the 12th Parsec. Be sure to hit up the merch shop. Uh, we got t-shirt orders. They will be going out if you ordered. Um, we're slow here. We don't fucking do anything fast. Uh, next week, we should have our guest on the show. Um, band's in limbo right now because everybody's changing schedules and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. We'll get the band back on the podcast. Hopefully, get Papa in here. We'll get a full thing. We got some cool stuff coming up. Uh, hang out. Check out Duke Cannon. Check out Clear yes, Rear. Absolutely. Check out CBDMD. Drop those promo codes. Help us out. And uh, let's take this thing to the next level, guys. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, here you go, Boyle. Uh, Black and whiskey. Thank you. Very delicious. Thank you, Metallica, for all you've done for us. Yep. Cheers. Love you, guys. Love you.